spoiler warning ahead. Check it out. You're listening to the Geek Speak Radio Show. No one's going to stop it. On TalkZone.com. Here's Henry and Romo. Well, maybe not too many spoilers, but we'll see what we can get from Jeff Loeb. Talking to Jeff Loeb, Executive Vice President, Head of Television for Marvel. Jeff, you there? Yeah, I am. Okay, so um, you spoke about Iron Man a little bit uh, just before the break. Tell me about the Iron Man Animated Adventures cartoon that's out. Uh, this is a show that's uh, a little different for us. Um, it's uh, on Nickelodeon. Um, it's a show that had started before I got there. Uh, but basically the idea of the show is something that you don't see either in the Marvel Universe uh, or anywhere else for that matter. And this is, this is a teenage Tony Stark, uh, teen Rhodey and teen... Uh, um, Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts. Uh, it's a beautiful looking show. It really has some of the, the best animation that's out there right now. Um, and, you know, it's, it's straight ahead adventures. Uh, it's, uh, produced by, uh, a French company. So the animation is done over in France. Uh, and, uh, it's a terrific show. Okay, and is, this, is this under the, uh, Marvel umbrella or is it going to fall into it? Um, it, it's actually something that's already out. Uh, we're, we're going into our second season on this. Um, and, but this is one of the shows that is not produced by us, but we do look after it on a regular basis and, and, you know, just sort of steer them in the direction that we'd like to, to see things creatively. Just specifically in terms of the shows that, that we actually produce ourselves. That superhero squad, Avengers, and the upcoming Ultimate Spider-Man. We're young. Okay. Yeah, uh, a couple of days ago, I, I read about a uh, Marvel anime. That's something really that's coming next year, I believe. Right? So tell me it about is. that. Uh, it's a, it's an incredibly awesome opportunity. Uh, Sony, uh, you know, which uh, we have this relationship with uh, through the Spider-Man films. Um, had this terrific idea, which was to be able to do uh, anime versions of our characters. And so uh, Simon Phillips, who is uh, head of uh, Worldwide uh, for Marvel, uh, was the person who sort of put this all together. Um, and uh, what they did was is they, if you're going to get into the anime business, then you might as well be with, with really one of the top anime houses, which is a company called Madhouse. Uh, they're responsible for a little film called Ninja Scroll, for those of you that are anime geeks out there. Um, and it's an incredibly impressive uh, resume of what they do. Uh, and what we did was is we selected four properties uh, that uh, they wanted to uh, animeize, if that's... I may have just made up a word. Um, uh, and they are uh, Iron Man, Wolverine, X-Men, and uh, Incredibly Cool Blade. Uh, I added the Incredibly Cool. Uh, and uh, what we did was is, is Warren Ellis came in and gave kind of a series overview as to what the shows could be. Um, and then we work in conjunction with the folks at Madhouse uh, in order to, you know, plot out what the stories are going to be. Um, they are done originally in Japanese, uh, and then uh, we do what's called a reversion, which is then translate them back into English. Um, I, I can tell you, having seen uh, the Iron Man pilot, uh, the animation is so gorgeous and exactly what you would expect from Madhouse. Um, and we just recently announced that that's going to be on G4 here in the United States, uh, the home of Attack of the Show, uh, and our friend Bear Butler. Um, and, uh, again, that was another surprise that we were able to show people uh, in uh, San Diego. We showed the Iron Man pilot, and, and people were just blown away by both the quality of the animation, the storytelling, uh, and where it's headed. It's It's a... They're all big arcs, um, each, uh, I think it's 16 episodes each uh, for each of the characters. Um, and it starts with Iron Man, and then it builds, in Wolverine is the next one up. Um, and there are opportunities for us to be able to uh, see the characters in 
each other's storylines. So you might get to see Iron Man come into the Wolverine storyline. And obviously, you know, once we have the X-Men, we'll have an opportunity for Wolverine to be in that. Um, and Blade, I, you know, I just get super excited because I've seen the designs and, and we've talked about what the story's going to be. And, uh, and that's for 2011. Um, and I think the latter part of the year, I don't have an exact date as to when it's going to go on the air. Um, will it be will the anime eighters, if you want to call them that, will they be following the uh, some of the stories from the comics, or are they allowed to get free? The, no, these are these are new inspirations uh, that, like I said, were created by Warren Ellis, um, and but they all have, you know, for those of you that have seen the the, the pilot the, uh, for Iron Man, they all have a reason to be in Japan or to be in uh, Southeast Asia um, because. Uh, we wanted it to really feel localized. We, you know, it, it felt like to do an anime version of something that took place in New York um, seemed kind of off. Uh, so, you know, in this in that particular story, it begins with Tony going to Japan on Stark business, and then an adventure begins in Japan. Um, obviously, you know, part of. Wolverine's heritage and legacy is that he is tied to Japan. So they, it, that was a really easy one to get to. Um, and uh, I think people will be really surprised and delighted about uh, how Warren managed to put Blade into that part of the world and, and what we get out of that. And again, that was coming to G4 I'm just, I'm next year. Ninja, Ninja Vampires is maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is actually uh, got a lot of emails yesterday when everybody heard that you were coming on the show. Got a lot of emails that wanted me to ask you this for them. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to ask you for specifics because um, you probably can't talk about it yet. But Marvel TV does does have plans for live action TV, correct? That is what we're doing. Marvel Marvel Television. My job sort of breaks into three areas. One is Marvel Television. I mean it which is the live action part, Marvel animation, uh, which is obviously the, uh, you know, the cartoons, as I like to say. Uh, um, and then we are looking right now at doing uh, full length, so to speak, uh, direct to DVD. Um, you know, again, the ones that, uh, that had previously come out, um, were uh, like Planet Hulk. Um, those are that's a, something that we're going to do, and and uh, but we'll do not through Lionsgate, but back through Disney again. Um, so, getting back to that, live action television is something that we're going to be doing. We're talking to uh, both ABC and to ABC Family, uh, and we've got some pretty cool things in mind. I can't right now go into specifics. Development really isn't something that we ever talk about um but when we do have something that's significant obviously we're going to let the fans know as soon as we can yeah everybody's waiting for that because they are looking forward to some live action stuff from marvel um, uh, and we are listening right? just so everybody knows i you know the, the the nice part about it is our fan base is savvy enough to know that you know what can be accomplished on television it, it, we, we're not going to compete at the level of, you know, something. We're not going to be able to make an Iron Man television show. You know, Iron Man is a, is a $150 million movie. Um, so that, you know, when you start thinking about the characters that we could do, um, you, you start to sort of get into the ballpark of what Marvel television is going to be without getting specific as to which characters they're going to be. Yeah, but a lot of, a lot of TV shows today they do have movie production values. I mean, you worked on one yourself, Lost, one of my favorite shows, and that was like a movie itself. It absolutely is. Um, but by the same token, you know, you don't have, you know, Iron Man fighting seven Iron Men and and you know yeah. flying around and blowing up cities and doing all that stuff. But really, what it comes down to, and, and the reason why we think Marvel is so right for. Uh, television is that it, it really always comes back to character. Um, you know, when you really stop and think about it, you know, the story that that I like to tell is, you know, Joe Casada went to see Stan Lee and when he was starting on Daredevil, and he asked Stan, what was the secret? And Stan said to him, okay, if you 
and I'm not going to do my Stanley voice because it's just embarrassing, <laughs> but if, <laughs> if what you do is you take a guy and you put him in a red suit and you put him on, the, on a ledge on a 50-story building, that's interesting. But when you find out that that guy's blind and that that guy got blind because when he was a kid, he sacrificed himself for somebody that he didn't know and he pushed him out of the way and then he got struck by a car when that happened. And then you find out that the reason why the kid is that kind of kid is because his father was a fighter who got involved with a bunch of crooks and who refused to take a dive. And for that, it actually cost him his life. Now you know about Matt Murdock. Now you know the man who is inside that red outfit. So when he's out there on that ledge, it's a much more interesting story. You're compelled to find out what happens. Marvel characters really live and die on who they are and what's happened to them. Peter Parker, Bruce Banner, any of the Fantastic Four, those guys are really what makes them interesting. And in television, you know, whether you, you look at Lost or whether you look at Mad Men, you know, the best television is about character. It's not about the effects. It's not about the size and the scope. It's about what's happening to people, both in humor, both in emotion and in romance. All of those things all go into what makes a great television show. And the Marvel Library is filled with those kinds of characters. And so that's really where we're going to be focusing on it. Geek Speak Radio Show will be right back. <laughs> 